Another important function of the Vertex 360 is the bend test. And a lot of schools like to use the bend test to test a weld after it's been made in a weld school. But not every class has the bend test equipment. Uh, so virtual reality allows you to use bend testing even if you don't have that equipment. And to show that, we're going to start out with a 1G weld. We're going to use flux cord and gas. And we'll go ahead and weld that piece out. And we're going to do a bend test on it. So go, Jordan, go ahead and make a weld. And I'm putting these different cues on here. I've got the aim cue, the stick out cue, and also his travel angle and work angle cue. Uh, that's what he sees in the view. And we can look at the laser screen, see he's tracking very well. We'll have him continue exactly that way to the end. That looked like a pretty good weld. So we're going to take and clean that. We're going to score it. There's a score. Now we're going to go on to pass number two. Go ahead, Jordan, go ahead and make pass number two. And we're going to go ahead and fill that plate on up. Now we're going to put the cap passes on that. I'm going to have Jordan go ahead and long arc that on purpose. Go ahead and pull along, contact the work distance. I want to put porosity on the surface of that weld on purpose to find out if the bend test is going to catch that. We'll clean the weld and we can see the porosity. We're going to hit end pass. And we're going to put pass number four on. Go ahead, Jordan, I want you to long arc that again all the way to the end of the weld to make sure we get porosity on the surface. There we can see the porosity on the surface and automatically the bend test showed up. That allows me to make a bend test. So we're going to come over and we have the ability to make both a root and face bend and we can make that in two positions, position A and position B. So we'll start out in the bend test. There's position A on the root bend. We'll go ahead and bend that. Looks just like a regular bender in the shop. Let's see how we did. We didn't see any problems. No discontinuities. And on a laser screen, we showed no discontinuities, and therefore it passed the bend test. We can come over, and now we can do the root bend on position B. And again, we saw no discontinuities. Let's bend that.
No discontinuities in it passed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try the face bend. Come over here, we're gonna go to the face bend in position A. That showed no discontinuities. Let's see how that one does. We saw no discontinuities and we saw that it passed. But let's check B on the face. We know we had porosity in the face. Let's see if the bend test picked up that discontinuity. And you can see after the bend test, you saw where it picked up the porosity, it had lack of fusion, and had porosity, and the piece failed. So the benefit of this is we're able to use virtual reality to do the bend test and a root uh, a root bend and a face bend in the same position, which you can't do in regular welding. And it teaches the student the consequence of their bad welds. Uh, they can analyze where the defects were, so they can take and correct that. And when they can pass their bend test in virtual reality and get rid of those discontinuities consistently, they're ready to go out to the weld shop make their welds out there and take their bend tests. And our studies have shown, uh, the Iowa State study, the independent study showed that when students learned in virtual reality in the 1G position and they went to the shop, they actually passed their 1G test. In fact, every single one of the students who passed in virtual reality passed in the weld shop. So we know this function works. We think you'll find it very valuable in your training.